So you've closed on your home, but you're not sure what to do now other than move in. Well, that's one of the things you should do. You know, you should move in the home that you now own. But other things that not a lot of people think of and not all real estate agents tell you is that you should change your locks. Even in a new home, you have no clue who has that key. Now, I have never had a buyer call me and tell me that some random person walked in their house and had the key to their house. However, I also, I don't want that call. So definitely look in to changing your locks, whether you just rekey them or whether you get a whole new set of locks at Home Depot or Lowe's and put them on the house. It'll give you peace of mind that you're the only one with the key. And I say this on a new build because you have no clue who has a key that is, they have two keys. It's a contractor's key and then it's the homeowner's key. And they say that nobody ever has a copy of that homeowner's key, but you don't know that for sure. So I would look into changing locks. The other thing, you're gonna wanna go check your smoke detectors. Make sure they work. Here in the state of Virginia, we don't have to sell a house with smoke detectors or even with working smoke detectors. So if your smoke detectors look yellow and old, you might wanna test them and see if they're 10 years old. If they are, go grab some new ones. If you go down to the fire department, a lot of them will give you smoke detectors for free. Um, and then, you know, you don't even have to pay for those to change them and you've got another peace of mind that if something happens to that house, you and your family will be alerted so y'all can get out in time. Something else to think about, live in that house for six months to a year before you start putting paint on those walls. This is speaking from experience. We bought our first house, picked all of our paint colors before we even closed, moved in, painted them, them and hated three of them. So then we were stuck painting three rooms all over again once we figured out the color that we love. So live in that house, see what actually speaks to you and what you like after six months to a year because then you will definitely know this is the color I want. We just bought a house not too long ago. We have thought for five different colors of our foyer and so we still haven't painted it even though we're not people that like white. I'll wait for another couple months until we figure out this is the color we want. And then we only have to paint it once and not four times. Just a thought. So those are a few tips I have for once you move into your house as a buyer. If you all want to talk about you know, how to buy, how to sell, give us a call. We would love to help you. I'm Casey Jenkins with The Real Brokerage.